What's up guys? So the next channel video we've got is, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this junkyard golf cart that we got over at Copart and we're going to restore it. As you can see, as you come around over here, it looks like someone kind of did a kind of a childish job on here. So what we're wanting to do is we want to do kind of a frame up restore build on this. So what we want to do is take all the plastics off. We're going to take the wheels off of it. As you come down in here and you look inside the suspension, like cranking the wheel, you can see that they just over sprayed all on the suspension here. It's even got a little on the corner of the lights. It's got this pretty, uh, well, we'll just call it uh, well attempted Batman logo. So if we come around here, it looks like the seats are in pretty good shape. I'm giving it a walk around. I mean, the you know, upholstery is in pretty decent shape. Um, under here, this is just a seat cover, but as we look past, we can see that there's actually pretty good upholstery underneath, as you can see here. But So we'll be removing that. We want to do some upgrades on it, so we want to do some upgraded wheel covers. We're going to do different wheel steering wheel. We're debating on whether we want to do a roof rack where we're going to fabricate it or just do kind of like a short windshield. Tell us in the comments below what you think you want us to do. But coming over here, as you can see, it's an older golf cart, so we want to remove some of these things. It's got this golf cart rack here for the golf clubs. We want to go ahead and fabricate and take this off. Looks like it's got this cover up here, and then someone did a real beautiful job of painting that by hand. I mean, as you can see, it's, it's a 2000 Yamaha golf cart. It obviously has seen some better days. It's fully electric, so what we're wanting to do is we want to try to, we're going to keep it that way. So what we need to do is basically do a frame up restore. So we want to take the body completely off of it. Um, if you look under here, we pull the seat forward, as we can see, that's where all the batteries go. But when we got it from the auction, it didn't have anything in it. it didn't even have a key switch. All we had was keys, but no key switch. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start stripping this thing down all the way, do some upgrades like LED lights, take the bumpers off, take the wheels off, check the bearings, do redo the wiring, things like that. Possibly put a stereo system in it if we want to. So we got this as kind of like a family project so everyone will want to do it together. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing into the garage and uh, we'll start tearing it apart. go ahead and get this thing sprayed off after taking some of these parts off we realize there's lots of grime build up on there so as you see here we've got all this garbage up behind the lights and probably from the uh, kicking up from the tires so Dax is gonna go grab the hose he's gonna spray it off Caden's gonna supervise <laughs> and uh, we're gonna spray everything make sure that we don't get the seats too wet but just get rid of all the garbage
came out, it should be fine. Go ahead and pull off that cover. Just let it down and push pull it off. It's a pretty nice seat. Pretty good condition for being uh, 20 years old. Dax is over here getting rid of all of the decals that got baked on there by the auction in the sun. Here in Phoenix, it's super hot, so if you can imagine, it gets burned on there. We got Caden over here and Griffin over here. They're taking off the seat so we can get closer to removing all of the body panels and uh, getting to do some more body work. Front nose piece off. That was quick. Now we assess what's underneath. Pretty simple. Got ourselves a horn, got our rack and pinion steering, and horrible overspray of some amateur paint jobs. So we'll have to be doing a little bit more cleaning on that to get it to where we can do some more work. But uh, all in all, it's coming together. Did you one side It's at the top of the black. Um, We got Dax taking off the final bolt of the rear bumper. As you can see in the video, we did quite a bit of disassembly. Got the new batteries all sat in here so they don't get drained by the concrete. Now we've got, what was really nice is as we looked at the golf cart and I was wondering what the wiring setup was gonna be. So now I know the wiring diagram to set it up because I pretty much got it with just disconnected cables hanging out everywhere and so now, I have an idea of what needs to go where. So we've gotten a ton of progress. Also got the glove boxes working. They're all dirty so the latches were not working at all. The keys they gave us don't fit. I don't know what they're from, but it's definitely not from this cart. I didn't have a key switch, so I gotta order a new one of those. But uh, here they are taking off the final part of that bumper. I almost got hit in the get face. Get rid of it. And then after this, we need to go underneath and disconnect the harnesses for the tail lights and then we'll be able to lift yeah, off this last out. body piece. All right, so now we're just disconnecting the last of the wires for the tail lights so that we can lift off the plastics without any problems or any hangups. And then basically we will be just sitting looking at the chassis and the driver area, which we don't need to really take off. So, all right, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and take this off real quick and lift. All right, and that's off. Let's go ahead and set this down right here. All right, looks like we got ourselves a bunch of parts. We've got the bumper. Obviously, as you can see, it was painted, which is never a good idea. We've got a ton of dirt we need to wash off again, so all this stuff needs to be cleaned out. 
These are all plastic as well, so it keeps the vehicle light, so it's nice. We'll have to spray all the dirt out of here, clean everything out underneath as well, I'll also here in the front. So the rest of this is just metal. So we can take off these sides, skirts, and we may not have to, we might be able just to sand them. Since they are plastic and they are riveted in there, we might just leave them on there and then just sand them down and strip off the decals and paint them on the car. So now that we've got everything off of it, now we know what we're working with. So the simplicity of the electricity is pretty simple. You just have to follow the diagrams. Got a couple things that are off that I need to make sure that the stuff needs to be connected. Um, if anybody has any information on this, just let us know in the comments below. Um, since this is our first time, we're all learning as we go. And obviously our slogan is learn by doing. So now that we've got it all tear, torn down, we will uh, get to doing all the body work and get everything prepared. So we've got the front piece here, we've got the back tray there. That's the old frame. We're gonna modify that so we can actually put a back seat in the back so they can haul around other kids. So it'll be more of a, more than just a two or three seater, you can see probably two more kids back here, five all together. So it can be a fun little neighborhood cruiser. And uh, we'll be doing some, we're ordering some custom parts for it. So it'll be fun with the steering wheel and the wheel covers. Our co color we're going with is like that. Like I said before, it's just that creamsicle orange. So next, uh, next step is just to start doing all the nitty gritty work and the fine details. Good. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. Um, that's going to be it for today's video. Next video, we're going to be getting into body work and uh, show, getting it down to where we can paint it the new orange color. And then, like I said in the pop before, in the comments, drop them in there below whether we should do a full cage with a roof or if we just stick with a simple windshield. We're looking to do kind of more of a street car versus the lifted because everyone does the lifted. So, we want to do something that's a little bit lower center of gravity. So we can go around corners and we don't have kids wrecking and rolling. So the idea is safety, fun, but it also looks cool at the same time. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, leave any comments below. And the next, see you on the next round.